It kills all illness and turns old to new. I got it from the forest people called the Yamu. Once upon a time in a faraway village, there lived a woodcutter who always boasted of his strength. It is said that the woodcutter wanted to test his own strength by felling the tallest tree in the forest. He hastily ventured deep into the forest in search. Meanwhile, the forest told the great tree of the woodcutter. The great tree sighed deeply, lamenting his foolishness, and he continued to sigh. And before long, the breath of the great tree became a thick and heavy fog which shrouded the forest. The woodcutter soon lost his way. He grew so tired wandering about that he soon took a short rest. Just then, sweet-smelling fluffs began to float down from above. All who would smell their sweet scent would fall fast asleep. The woodcutter couldn't help but to fall in a deep slumber, and there he lay, snoring great snores in the middle of the forest. For three days he slept. On the morning of the fourth day, a birdman flew down to where he lay. He spoke to him. I'm the strongest, you always say. One fight with me, if you may. But the woodcutter remained fast asleep. You can try to sleep if you must, but I shall wake you with my dust. As he spoke those words, the birdman sprinkled a glistening white powder upon the woodcutter. With that, the woodcutter sneezed a great sneeze and jumped to his feet. The surprised woodcutter shouted, Who on earth are you? I warn you, I am incredibly strong, and I will battle right now. The birdman replied, You can't defeat me, but if you do, we can be friends and I'll share my powder with you. It cures all illness and turns old to new. I got it from the forest people called the Yamu. The woodcutter tried to grab the birdman. But the woodcutter had been asleep for three days. He was too hungry to hold on. With one flap of his mighty wings, the birdman blew the woodcutter all the way back to the village. The woodcutter told the villagers all about the strange bird man, but not a soul believed him. From that day on, the woodcutter never again boasted of his strength. Understand? The divine tree of the forest is an incarnation of Elrum. You must never think of harming it. It is always watching over us. There are many other tales with the birdman. It seems they all say that he hates fire. Perhaps he was barbecued in a previous life. <laughs>